Nanocomp Technologies is an advanced materials company that's seeking to change the way we make products that save lives, enhance national security, and also save energy. We started with two people 10 years ago. There's 76 people here today. Uh, what we're planning on doing with this expansion that we're celebrating is to double that next year. My name's Jim Roth, and I founded Storm King Mountain Technologies to help develop a better fire shelter. My brother was killed when he was a smoke jumper and jumped on the South Canyon fire on Storm King Mountain. Worst firefighting disaster in U.S. history, the deaths of more than a dozen firefighters last month on a Colorado mountainside. And unfortunately, we uh, belong to a club that none of us ever, ever want. You don't want to belong to this club. I can't get them back, but I can, I can make sure it's not going to happen to somebody else. There are going to be people who are going to who put their lives on the line in similar situations. If we can help their shelter of last resort, what more can you ask? And our journey's not yet done on fire shelters. And I've got part of that material right here. And uh, we're going to put it to good use. That material can also be used to help stop flames. So we're seeing opportunities to help firefighters be protected with a lighter weight, cooler solution. For me, it was serving my country, um, doing something that's difficult to protect uh, our families. We wore body armor, yes. Well, it's pretty heavy for sure. Um, uncomfortable, heavy. Uh, all the weights on your shoulders, um, pretty hot. We're able to wrap body armor with our materials, take out as much as 30% of the weight, and offer both for soldiers and for police a lighter weight, equal protection solution. I think we can always uh, strive to get it lighter and lighter. Um, going light is right. Our material is also highly electrically conductive. We can take um, tons out of an airplane. Why does that matter? You take weight out, you're saving fuel. So we're able to economically make aircraft more affordable to fly. This is definitely going to save lives. If we can make a fire shelter go from surviving in 500 degree temperatures to over 2,000 degree temperatures, we're going to save a lot of lives. To say that you could actually be able to have somebody who goes out and puts their lives on the line to be protected more effectively with our materials done here, that feeling is beyond, beyond words.